a beautiful sandwiches of mine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, I'd eat them, I'd eat them all at once. I will not ask a fee, but if you have yourself a sandwich, won't you give a back to me? Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch, and if I had a hundred sandwiches, I eat them. Oh, once I went to England, I visited the Queen, I swear she was the grandest lady that I've ever seen. I told her she was she handed me a sandwich and she threw me out the door. Sandwiches are beautiful, sandwiches are fine. I like sandwiches, I eat them all the time. I eat them for my supper, I eat them for my lunch. And if I had a hundred sandwiches, Mr. Mark Arnold! or cheese or even peanut butter but they don't taste so good to me it really doesn't matter jam or ham or cucumber any kind will do i like sandwiches how about you what sandwiches are beautiful So you may or may not know that I'm from Mennonite background. My parents settled in southern Manitoba. My grandparents farmed down there. I was raised in Winnipeg, but we would go to the farm every other weekend to visit the uncles and aunts and cousins and nieces and nephews. And often they would come into Winnipeg for a family reunion. And you can just imagine, my mom was in a family of 12, so we had hundreds of relatives who would come and share the food, the food, the food was on a table as wide as this stage, I think. And at one end of the table were the desserts. Are you dessert people here in Red Deer? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, my all-time favorite dessert was my great-grandmother's recipe for Saskatoon berry pie. Oh, does your mouth start watering just a little bit when I say that? By the way, if anybody has a by any chance, a piece of Saskatoon berry pie. I'd gladly trade a CD for that today. But without warning, you know, we'll talk about that later. But let me tell you more. Make me a pie. 